Hey guys, today's video is going to be a holiday makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing now. This is the look that I plan on rocking all holiday season. If you guys have watched me for any amount of time, you guys know I love a pretty smoky eye with a shimmery lid. So that's what I did for you guys today. And I tried out a new to me palette, which I'm pretty pleased and excited about. Um, but this video is also in collaboration with my new friend here on YouTube. Her name is Cheyenne. She's a channel very similar to mine. She does a lot of mommy related content and beauty videos as well. So I'm gonna have her channel linked down below in the description box. Be sure to go check out her video like mine. She's doing a holiday tutorial as well. If you are from Cheyenne's channel, welcome. My name is Casey. If you like Cheyenne's channel, I'm pretty sure you'd like mine as well. I do mommy related videos, vlogs, beauty videos, all that jazz. So I hope you guys want to stick around and join our little mom squad here on YouTube. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. This is a little bit of a chatty video. You guys know I like to talk. So let's go ahead and get started. So for today's look, I am using a palette that is new to me. I'm gonna try out the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. The colors in here are really, really pretty. So I'm excited to try them out, but um, I'm going to apply my makeup in steps a little bit differently today, just because I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any fallout from these. Um, but I wanna go ahead and get started. Just because it's Christmas doesn't mean I'm gonna wanna wear just mascara and winged liner and a bright red lip or silver glittery eyeshadow and a red lip or anything like that. So um, this is gonna be my take on a holiday look and what I am going to be wearing for the holiday get togethers this year. So I'm going to start with skin first and I wanna start with primer. I'm using the Too Faced Primed and Portless. Too Faced makes my favorite primers. I use this one and the Hangover RX. And then for foundation, I'm gonna use my Dior Forever Skin Foundation. Mine's in the shade 20. This is my favorite long wearing foundation. It feels so lightweight on the skin. It's not overly matte, but it's not dewy either. It just gives a very soft matte, natural, full coverage finish and it lasts a really long time. I never have a problem with my foundation wearing off. It literally wears all day long and it looks just as good six hours, eight hours later as it did whenever I first applied it. Now I'm gonna skip concealer until after my eyeshadow because I'm not sure if there's gonna be a ton of fallout, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows really quick. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in soft brown, so I'm gonna fill in my brows really fast and I'll be right back in a sec. Brows are done, so I'm gonna prime my eyes really quick. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm gonna blend that out using my Beauty Blender. And then I'm gonna set my lids using the Too Faced, uh, what is this, the Peach Perfect Powder. Just set that really quickly. So I'm gonna first start out with this shade here as my transition shade. I'm gonna put that all in the crease and on my lid. The shadows are just a little bit powdery whenever you put your brush in them, but it's not too bad. This is a really great transition color though. And it goes on really nice. Using that same brush, I am going to deepen it up just a tad with the color right underneath it. Just focusing a little bit lower. So far so good. I wanna try a shimmer shade on my lid, but I'm having a really tough time trying to decide which one I wanna use because they're all so, so pretty. But knowing me and what I like, I think I wanna go in with this shade here. It's a really pretty sort of like rose gold shimmer bronze color. So um, I'm gonna throw on some Fix Plus on my brush. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit so that it goes on nice and metallic. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. So I guess during this tutorial, I will go ahead and share with you our Christmas traditions and what we like to do on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So we stay fairly busy on Christmas. We go to both my in-laws house and my parents' house on both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. One of my favorite things about our Christmas is that both sides of the family makes it a huge deal and the kids just get totally spoiled. But typically what we do on Christmas Eve is we will go to my in-laws house for, um, not really for lunch, more like appetizers and snacks and the kids usually get to open up their presents over there. And then that evening we go to my mom's house and we have Christmas with my grandparents. So my grandparents on my mom's side and my grandparents on my dad's side. And we've done that since I was 
a little kid. I want to deepen up the crease, so I am going to take this color right here. It's it's a brown, but it's definitely got a hint of berry to it. I don't want my eye to be too berry, but I want to check out this color because it looks really pretty. So yeah, we um, have a big Christmas Eve at my mom's house, Christmas Eve night, and the kids get to open up presents from both my nanny, which is my mom's mom, and my grandma, which is my dad's mom. So um, it's nice that we still have been able to carry on that tradition even as me and my sister have gotten older and had our kids now. We try to be home by like seven o'clock, eight o'clock that night, just so the kids can get ready for Santa to come and all that jazz. So when we get home on Christmas Eve night, we always let the kids open at least one present. And one present that I always buy them on Christmas Eve is a new pair of PJs so that they wake up with a fresh new pair of Christmas PJs every Christmas morning to open Santa presents. And last year was our first Christmas with all three of us. And um, I didn't realize how important those Christmas PJs were to Lexi. And I just totally spaced and did not buy new PJs last year. And she was really upset. So I made sure to buy them this year and to continue on with that tradition. Because she said that's one of her favorites. So I got to continue on with that. Um, okay. So that is looking really pretty. But I want to add one more color. So I think think I'm going to add right here in the corner, which is more of a chocolate brown, like a warm chocolate brown, just to add a little bit more depth to the eye. And then we go to bed and Santa comes. We wake up on Christmas morning and all the kids gather around and they open up Santa presents. We check to see if he ate all of his milk and cookies. They get to opening, they open up Santa presents first and then they open up the rest of the gifts from me and Kevin and me and Kevin open up presents. So that's usually how our Christmas morning goes. And then um, we really don't have a lot of time to hang around um, and let the kids play, which kind of stinks because we have to be at my mom's house around 11 or 12 for Christmas lunch. And while we're over there, that's when the kids open up um, presents from my parents and we exchange gifts with my sister and her family. We stay over there for a couple of hours and then we have to go to Kevin's parents' house for Christmas dinner where they open up presents with Kevin's sister and her husband. So um, we are really busy bees over Christmas, but um, I'd love to know what you guys' Christmas holidays are, what you guys do on Christmas. Um, I'm just taking my the brush that I use my transition shade with. No extra product, I'm just going over the shadows in my crease just to make sure everything's all blended. Okay, I need to add a brow bone highlight. And these are the two highlight shades in the palette. I don't know which one I like best. Let me see. I am going to go with the second shade, which is the more warm of the two. And I am going to pop that. Oh my gosh, that is intense. Oh my goodness. That was a lot uh, brighter than I thought it would be. I honestly wasn't expecting much out of this palette, but it's actually pretty darn good. I'm pleasantly surprised. That is going to be it for now. I need to apply my eyeliner, but let me curl my lashes first. I like to curl my lashes before I apply my eyeliner because if I do it after, then my eyelash curler ends up taking off some of my liner, which really, really stinks. I'm going to use the Maybelline Gel Liner. I am probably just going to throw in a little bit of music here because I can't talk and do eyeliner at the same time. Okay, eyeliner is done. So we're gonna go ahead and add mascara next. And as always, I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. Huge fan of this stuff. I know some of you have said that this doesn't work for you and that really stinks. Um, it just goes to show that just because somebody else likes a certain product, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna work for you. This is an absolute must have for me. I really enjoy it and I'm thankful that it works for me because I really like it and it makes my lashes super long and nice and fluffy. And then for mascara, I am on my last leg of my Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. This is probably gonna be the last time that I can wear it. So I really like this mascara, but the one downfall about it is that it dries out very quickly. Um, I haven't had this for very long at all, and it started to dry out a couple of weeks ago, but I've just been trying to <laughs> 
get as much out of it as possible. Thankfully, it's just a drugstore mascara, so it's not like I paid a lot of money for it. It is really good. <laughs> it makes my lashes really long and really nice and thick, so I can't really complain too much. So I want to go ahead and move on to concealer, and of course, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. Mine is in the shade Light, and I'm gonna put a little bit under my eyes. I'm pleasantly surprised. I really didn't get a lot of fallout from the Morphe palette. I thought maybe I would, but I think it's because I sprayed Fix Plus on the shimmer shades, so that really did help. I'm not used to putting my concealer on after my eyeshadow. Um, I typically always do like my entire base before I do my eyes, but I didn't want to take a chance just in case there was a lot of fallout. Okay, I'm going to set using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder, and this powder is really nice. Um, if you like the Laura Mercier Blue Setting Powder, it performs very similarly to that, but it's a little bit softer, and it's got kind of like a soft focus finish compared to that. Now I'm gonna set my face using my Benefit Hello Flawless Powder. Mine is in the shade Never Settle Petal, and I'm just applying it with a Real Techniques powder brush. So I'm going to go ahead and bronze and I'm using the Hourglass Diffused Bronze Light. This is a really pretty neutral toned bronzer. It leans a little bit on the cool side. Um, so if the other bronzers from Hourglass are too warm, you might want to try this one because it's not near as warm as like the Radiant Bronze Light or the Luminous Bronze Light. I want to add a little bit of a contour. So I'm going to use the Shade and Light Palette from Kat Von D. And this has been my favorite contour brush. It's the Small Contour from Sigma. It is number F05. And I'm going to take this color here. Clearly it's my favorite color because I've hit Major Pan. How attractive is this face right now? I'm just going to take my large stippling brush and go over all that just a quick second. This is something that I have to do. I do every time I do my makeup, I just cannot not use this double brush. And now I need to even out this contour and contour my nose a bit. So I'm gonna take that same color and I'm using the setting brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just gonna contour my nose a bit. And then for blush, I'm gonna use one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade First Love. It's one of my favorite blushes and this is the kind of blush that goes with everything. So I picked this blush today because I wasn't sure what sort of eye look I was doing because it was my first time doing my makeup with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. So I went ahead and grabbed this blush because I knew no matter what look I did, this blush was gonna work. Moving on to highlighter, I'm gonna use the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Palette. I'm so happy that I got this. I love it. I've been using it so much. I particularly really like this shade here. It's really similar to Becca Opal. So if you like the tone of that, um, Oh my gosh, brain fart. If you like the tone of that highlighter, you would really like this one. They're such pretty highlighters. It's like soft, but adds a really nice pop to your cheeks. I'm gonna put it down my nose a little above the brows. I need to finish up my eyes, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a Q-tip and dust off the little mascara marks that I got on my eyes. I basically use one brush for my lower lash line and it's this pencil brush from Sigma, it's the E30. And I sort of just layer colors to build up the color that I want on my lash line. So I'm gonna start with the transition shade that I used, which is this one, and I used this one second. So I'm gonna mix those together and go ahead and apply that to my lower lash line. If you typically have trouble blending or smoking out your lower lash line. I recommend doing this. Um, it, If you build upon the colors and add your lighter colors first, like your eyeshadow on your lids, it kind of just helps melt everything together. And then I don't know if I wanna leave it like this or go a little bit heavy. I guess I'll do it a little bit heavier. Um, I'm not going to grab the berry shade. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this color here and just focus it on the very outer edge of my under eye just to add a little bit of shadow and a little bit extra darkness. I don't like my lower lash line to be super dark though because I feel like it closes off my eyes too much. And I still, even if I'm wearing a smoky eye, I still like my eyes to look more open and awake. Eyes are complete. I just need to add some brow gel. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Gel in Brunette. 
I'm gonna just put a little bit in my brows just to hold them in place. I'm gonna set everything with the MAC Fix Plus. Love this stuff so much. Okay. The face is done. We just need to add some lip. I have two different lip options that I want to mention. I have a red, which if I wanted to do a red lip, this is the red that I would choose. And I also have a nude lip. So I'm going to do two lip options for you. But I want to talk about this little lip product that's new to me. It's by Sarah Happ and it's called the Lip Expert. And basically like this product was made for people like me. If you have a lot of lines in your lips, and it's hard for you to wear liquid lipsticks because when they dry down, you have a lot of lines. You need this. This is like a lip primer. It's like the Too Faced Primed and Poreless, but for your lips. It is like a soft focus matte that sort of just fills in the fine lines on your lips. And it helps make any lip products that you put on over it go on so much more smoothly. So when I saw this... On the Nordstrom website, I had to grab it because I was like, that looks like it was made for me and I really enjoy it. So I'm gonna do the red lip first and I'm going to line my lips first with the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. This is in Iconic Nude. The red that I'm gonna use is also from Charlotte Tilbury and it's in the shade Bond Girl. Now I cannot pull off super bright reds. I just don't like them on me. Um, and I don't want to do a super bright and intense red lip when I've got a smoky eye like this. So this color right here is just perfect. So this is the red here. It's more of a dark berry red. This is my kind of red. It's more of a neutral toned red. It's not in your face and it's just very pretty. I'll wipe this off because I want to do a nude lip because that's what I'm the most comfortable with. So I'm gonna apply this again, the Lip Expert from Sarah Happ. And a lip product, particularly a nude, that I've really been enjoying lately is this one from Smashbox. This is the Always On Liquid Lipstick in the color In Demand. Um, I really like this. I really like the applicator. It comes in a really nice point, so you can really um, line and define your lips. And this is the lip in In Demand. It's just my kind of nude it's that peachy pink nude and it's really comfortable on the lips it's not super drying um i really really like this color and it's a color that goes with literally everything especially the colors and the eye makeup looks that i like to do whether they're super simple or it's a holiday smoky eye like this this lip color pairs perfectly with anything. So I've been really enjoying this. And this is the final result. This is my holiday makeup for 2017. This is going to be the makeup that I wear for any holiday event that I have coming up in the next couple of weeks leading up to Christmas, even New Year's. I would totally rock this on New Year's. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed my take on what I like to wear during the holiday season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out Cheyenne's channel and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye!